Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode four of my vanilla Let's Play for one 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 two. That's right. Um, right now, uh, looks like um my internet is down temporarily. I need to restart the modem. I just didn't feel like doing it right right this second. So, <laughs> um, I have the default uh, skin. So. Yeah, but I've been mining and mining and mining, trying to get some experience um, so that we could get 30 levels, yes, because I mined some diamonds and uh, got the enchantment area set up, so I wanted to enchant our first diamond pickaxe so we can go get some obsidian and... Man, I've just been going through so many iron pickaxes doing all that mining. So this will um, make us be using a little bit less materials, hopefully. Uh, hopefully we'll get, like, um, hopefully we get fortune. <laughs> First try, but, uh, you know, probably not. Hopefully, though, we'll get, you know, efficiency unbreaking. That would be that would be awesome. Uh, so we can do uh, a lot of mining without having to keep running back and uh, making more iron pickaxes. <laughs> uh, it's it's horrible to um, you know get into your mining groove and then have to stop because your your pick broke all three of them. <laughs> so I I have been doing some more. Uh, work on just making it easier to get around in here uh adding slabs where i need to to so i don't have to jump um this is the way down into the the mine shaft oh i also found the way to the spider spawner uh it's not a cave spider spawner it's just a normal spider spawner it's just back here, and I I couldn't loot the whole thing because my inventory got full, so I left this chest here. I got I just got full, and it's just a regular spider spawner. I need to pick up that coal eventually. I think there was some iron back here too. Yeah, yeah. I need to come back here and mine up that iron as well. But anyway, we were going to go do our very first enchantment. Um, let me see if I can remember where I put the area. I think it's up here. Uh, this way. Across this little bridge. I'm trying to add some stalactites and stuff. I tried to make a little uh, bridge to help uh, get around so I could come back here. I made a little dock. So I could have a boat. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. That is my boat. Look at. He's trying to steal my boat. That's horrible. Stop. Thief. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's go back here. I also. Let me show you this real quick. I uh, made a little area to start. Um, breeding chickens. Cause um, what? Did one of them die? How did one of them die? Huh? He must have suffocated. But I was like, I figured. Usually I do an automated chicken farm, but I don't know. Uh, I figured this um, this would give me. A, something to do with all those seeds that we're going to be getting from our farms. So I can do a manual one for now. Um, so let's get let's get over to the enchantment area. Should be just right back here. But zing! And I made the, the diamond pickaxe and put it in the chest here. So Oh, I forgot! We need lapis. Oh! Big yawn. Um, oh, I killed the witch that had spawned out. I'd done some mining and 
just wasn't paying attention to the, the time and yeah, I need to put that down there and let it get dark out and a witch spawned um, right there by my door so I had no choice I had to kill him I did run like a little girl though <laughs> at first um, and then I went wait a minute I'm not dead yet so I turned around and fought him and and I come out uh, on top that time so that was good okay oh this is gonna have unbreaking three well that's good um, we know we're getting something out of it oh come on be fortune oh, well we got we got the efficiency and and that's uh, that's really good hey I got I got a spot just for this actually I think I'm gonna move this this chest right here over to this other side we'll put it right here and this can be for lapis and then we can put um, an anvil there or something yeah we can go make an anvil right now uh, I believe I've gotten enough iron I probably have enough up here for it I think it takes 31 iron. Oh yeah. <laughs> and we have a whole other stack over there too. So that's good. Zoink. And zoink. So that's awesome. Uh, we got our first anvil. Our enchantment table is set up. I got a, I made a jack-o'-lantern and put it underneath there. That's what's keeping it lit up. Because, um, the enchantment table, I guess, isn't considered a full block. It's, uh, <laughs> sorry, my cat, she's attacking the screen. There are bugs out. Got the door, or the window open. She's attacking the screen, but, uh, blocks that aren't considered full blocks sort of leak light out so that's how it's able to stay lit up without having a light source um and i need um i need some advice i i don't want to just leave torches lying around in the main cave area i want to work on the lighting some and either have um the little tiki torches on on the wall or if you notice I put these uh, walls uh, cobble walls there they have uh, torches behind them and that's a way I can get uh, some lighting hidden in without the torches showing uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm thinking about I might replace these with fences. I don't know. Uh, some of the places just seem so cramped with the logs in there. It might it might be a little bit better with. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave this big central one as uh, logs and work on the ones in the hallways to be um, the fences as support beams. I don't know. I don't know but that's awesome we got us a good solid work pick oh what we can do is we can go check and see what what the next um, enchantment is gonna be let's just put that in there this deficiency three uh, I was really hoping to get a fortune pick uh, early on because there are so many diamonds down there. I don't want to mine them because I want to. I want to wait for the fortune uh, enchantment before I mine them, and then we can get so much more and maybe get some some diamond armor. Uh, man, it's just so dangerous down there. <laughs> I still uh, I have lit quite a bit of the area up. I got a little work area down here. Just mined a whole bunch of stuff. Um, look at all this gold. 
Uh, we might as well, I guess, smelt some of that. Smelt some of that up. I sort of dug this area out so I could start uh, branching off for branch mines and whatnot. Um, some of the areas I started mining stuff and broke into different areas of the mine shaft, which led to more exploration. And uh, yeah, the, I hadn't explored this area. Here's a, a cave spider spawner that's pretty close to a little main area that I might um, I might go ahead and set that up as you know like an experience farm or something maybe uh, just to to have some I know we have uh, up top we have a couple of zombie spawners I don't think they're close enough to make like a double spawner or anything um, so it'd probably be better to to do the cave spider spawner. I think they're worth more experience than like a normal zombie. So it will be, you know, a little bit more efficient to do a cave spider um, spawner. Oh, this is another area. <laughs> Oopsie. Anyway, I as you can see, I've lit a whole bunch of this area up. Um, some of that, like, over there, uh, I have not got to explore yet. Uh, but that's because there is, uh, I think, back this way, another case spider spawner. And I've been, uh, oh yeah, right there. <laughs> it's sort of open, so those are really hard to, uh, to deal with because they're open, uh, the mobs just start popping out everywhere and stuff. So, but yeah. Oh, look at more diamonds. Ah. See, so they're they're taunting me. So, <laughs> ha ha! You get a diamond pickaxe and you can't mine us. Neener neener neener. Um. Yeah. So let's try to throw down another torch. Oh, run like a little girl. I also found one um Oh, that bat scared me. I think I found one over here. Oh yeah, it's right under this. But it's right over a pool of lava, so I didn't really have to deal with it. Um I just covered it up uh, cuz the mobs just weren't spawning and anything that did, they would just automatically fall into the lava because there was nothing underneath them. What is the easy... oh here it is. Here's the easiest way back. So what I want is... Um, I think we only have one more obsidian left um, from that we looted from the blacksmith in the village uh, so we're gonna have to mine some more obsidian. We got some right here, and I've tried to start uh, closing this section off so I can get uh, maybe further away from the mine shaft and start uh, and the ravine and start doing some branch mining. Um, so let's see. I wanted to. <laughs> we're gonna just do a little bit of. Actually, uh, yeah, this might work. Gonna have to get my diamond pickaxe out. But I had this idea where, um, you know, it, once you get some automation going, a lot of the Minecraft things, you're basically just building. Um, and, <laughs> and well, that's good. I, I don't like building to, like, no purpose. Um, I like having a purpose to to the building. Oh, and I forgot. Um, the the water is supposed to uh, 
turn this lava into obsidian immediately, <laughs> but I, I think in one of the the patches or something it it doesn't. So you want to like break one, pick up your obsidian. Uh, I mean, it does. It it does turn turn the the lava into obsidian instantly which um, will save the one that you're currently working on but one that's already there uh, like a, an obsidian that's already loose um, does that make sense <laughs> it's already been mined so it actually gets destroyed by the lava before the water turns it to obsidian so that's why I only got two out of like the four so uh, yeah anyway I had this idea I did it in one of my uh, one of my worlds uh, one of my many 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 worlds where uh, if I wanted to do some type of automation or even a farm for that matter I had to like make a little um, not necessarily village but a little um, a little house and put a, a villager with it which since we we had a, a village so close to spawn um, I thought that would be a you know something we could do in this series to make it a little more interesting and more um, interactive I guess uh, and we do have enough obsidian now so uh, it w it's really kind of fun uh, some of it can be a little bit I don't know uh, annoying and tedious having to we're gonna set up a village um, village breeder eventually anyway so um, it'll allow us to I don't know have a different use for the villagers that could be sort of like um, what's driving <laughs> the automation if you uh, get that air quotes in there it's a, they're basically doing the work for us but they're not um, actually so as you can see I've been I've been doing a lot of mine and a lot of gathering of things let's get this stuff put away um, I don't really have a chest for like diamonds I guess I could put them up here and I got three extra because I was talking I was down here so long I wore out a sword and an iron axe from killing things. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what I'm gonna do probably is I try to to find an area where I want to set up the uh, Nether portal and maybe build like a shrine. I usually just have the Nether portal and then that's it. Uh, maybe some fence around it to keep anything you know contained but since this is vanilla you know the zombie pigmen aren't uh, that dangerous um why is there a spider oh uh, it must have gotten dark oh yeah we worked all through the night wow I've already killed monsters, but uh, sometimes if you um, find if you have multiple Minecraft games, sometimes the achievements reset. So yeah. Oh, and we've had a couple of comments on our videos, um, which is cool. So I put a couple little flowers. I figured it doesn't have to be like just flowers around this. Um, we could just do decorations. Um, just spruce up this whole area around the tree I love this tree it's so awesome <laughs> I hear lava 
There's the lava down here somewhere. Yeah. Uh, probably don't want to put anything flammable right here. Uh, I figure maybe uh, if we get some more comments, maybe we can do like, um, sort of simulate some, uh, well, not simulate, sort of make the world dynamic. Uh, I saw this really cool, um, idea on, uh, Here's the thing about me. I love I love Minecraft. I love playing Minecraft. I love recording videos of me playing Minecraft and putting them up on YouTube. And and I love watching other people play Minecraft and uh uh one of the the people's series I've been watching recently is um somebody called Vitigarvia. I uh, really enjoy his series. He did a really good um, Egyptian theme. I, I just loved it. It was so amazing looking. Um, so go check his channel out. But he had a way, he thought of a way to sort of make, add some dynamic uh, things into your world so that if certain things happen, it will change your world. So I thought it might be cool to, um, he has a, a rain detector, basically, where um, you put a, you till a piece of ground and plant wheat on it, and you put an observer block next to it, and any time that block becomes hydrated or it changes from hydrated to dehydrated or vice versa, then it will send a signal to the observer block, which you can have to activate a dispenser and spill water out. So like if it rains, it'll make it seem like it's flooding an area, um, which I thought was really super cool. And maybe we can do that, put like um, one of those rain sensors on the top of here and have it like it's a little, it's flooding the water table and, and have a little stream come out and feed into this little pond right here. Maybe we can make a little channel for it so it doesn't ruin all of our flowers. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought that would be a cool idea. Let me know what you think of that. Um, and, and the villager idea. We have that village right over there. I'm probably going to um, maybe go light that area up and start maybe adding a little villager breeding cell. It doesn't, they're not too hard and I mean all you basically need is a house full of doors and you know a wall around your village and then you know you can uh, sort of control your population. Look at all that. I wonder if we even have any left. I know I put two in a house. Oh look, there's one. So I was worried that maybe uh, the zombies had eaten all our villagers, but apparently they haven't. Oh, there's our Frostwalker 2 guy. What? I thought this was like 26. Maybe we have two Frostwalker guys. <gasps> they're all they're all in this one building. Let's um I don't know if it's lit up in there. I don't think it is. Uh, let's go in there. We have so many... No! Stay! Stop! Oh. <sighs> they were in here wondering who stole all their books. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the Frostwalker 1. Thorns. I was... Uh, maybe we can go ahead and... Oh, they're so annoying. You guys. Shush. 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 Efficiency 5 takes 64 emeralds. What? That is, um, I don't know if that's a good trade or not, but efficiency 5. That is, so there's a cartographer. Huh? Huh? 
Fire Protection 3? That's kind of good, but I don't know. Some of those seem a little bit high, and we got these... What do you do, bud? Why aren't you selling me anything? Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is... Oh! I got a saddle from my fishing thing. I need to get one of these horses, so when I want to go exploring, because we still have tons of resources um, that we don't have available to us just yet. And I thought that would also make it a little bit more realistic. Um, like, uh, whenever we want to do a specialized tree farm, like in the area where we're at, birch and oak naturally go, you know, spawn in a forest biome. And the oak spawns in a plains biome, which we have tons of that around here. Uh, but there's not a taiga <laughs> biome anywhere near here. So I thought maybe if I wanted to um, have spruce, a spruce farm over in this area, that I would need to build um, a little lumberjack house and put... A villager in there that is specialized in growing spruce wood in areas that aren't native to that um, uh, area where you can find the spruce. Uh, I thought that would be a, a little bit, uh, I don't know, I thought it would be kind of neat. So I'm probably going to be working on that. So um, it gives me a reason to build more houses and stuff, and I think it just adds a little bit of fun to it, and that's what uh, playing games is all about, is having fun. Just good fun. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, there's also some cows over here that I want to take back over to that area and uh, maybe get a little farm going. Maybe we'll build, like, a whole our own village to just a place where we have a villager that will take care of our animals. Well, take care of our animals <laughs> for us. Because um, they're really not going to be doing anything but uh, being a concept, I guess. A concept of uh, automation or a, f a farm area. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do with this village is I'm probably going to tear down all of these small, single uh, buildings. Maybe leave the blacksmith and the bigger houses. Uh, tear down these small ones. And build some uh, village, village breeding cells and maybe light it up and put a wall around it so our villagers will be safe from zombie attacks and stuff like that. <laughs> and that way it'll sort of contain them too and maybe get uh, like a little way station built probably over here in this area, I'm thinking. Uh, we can have um, maybe a little rail station that we can um, bring the villagers into, load them into a minecart, and take them out without uh, having to worry about other villagers escaping and whatnot. And then that way we can take them over to our area and utilize them however we want, you know. And I think that would be kind of cool. Um, I haven't really done anything over in this area other than yeah, work on the cave a little bit. I did, um, oh, I put some, I put some chests out by the farms just to free up some area in our, our couple of chests that we have in that little hole in the wall over there. And I've tried to make that, that little hole in the wall look a little bit nicer. I know it's not, it's still still not much but it looks a little bit better it looks a little bit more cave like in my opinion um, I do have I did do quite a bit of mining I think I left all the cobble down there 
Um, so I can do a little bit more work on this area, uh, sprucing it up and stuff. I, I like to have uh, things that are functional as well as um, nice looking. Uh, I think you can I think you can do both if you really want to. <laughs> just because something's functional doesn't mean you should just not let it look nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you should make it functional and then make it look nice. Or the other way around. Some people like to uh, concentrate on just making it functional or just making it look nice. But I, I want to do both. Oh, and there's our saddle. I think, um, let's, let's go tame a horse. We got a horse over at that village where we were just at. And it doesn't take long to, um, to get a horse tamed. I did grab the saddle. We just need an empty hand to, to tame it. I really, what, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is we'll get this horse, just any old horse tamed. Use this saddle. Uh, I'll probably do some AFK fishing until we get another saddle because I haven't been lucky enough to uh, find any any of them anywhere else so I can do some AFK fishing get another saddle and when I do I can try and go um, find that that, that uh, those silver horses I want a silver horse all right um, yeah oh I love this one it's so, it's like a really dark chocolate brown it's like the dark uh, the dark oak brown. It's not like spruce brown. It's dark oak brown. It's really nice. Really nice looking. It's almost, um, it's almost red. It's so, it's so brown. Oh, it loves me. Thank you. Thank you for loving me. Oh my goodness. Look at how fast it is. I got a horse in my Farming Valley um, world and it's so slow. But this one, look at how fast it is, guys. It's so amazing. Oh, we got a fast horse. We got a fast horse. Oh yeah, it's a, it's one of those it, uh, trick horses where it loves to step. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I think I will. We're gonna have to. We got a couple of name tags too. We can name our horse. Um, I'm really, I'm really not good at naming. I usually call stuff like George or <laughs> I will love him and hug him and squeeze him and call him George. <laughs> That's about as much as I get with naming stuff. Or you know, Martha. Um, George and Martha cut. You know, just basic names <laughs> so yeah we got we got our uh, although I think this one just reminds me of a nice uh, brownie so I'm gonna call him brownie you will be brownie um, let's go get uh, I think we got uh, the name tag over here I have that I fell down, but that's okay. Let's get down into our little thingy here. Um, oh, maybe I didn't get any name tags here. I must have gotten them all with the <clears throat> the spawners when I got them. Yeah, got four of them there. Sweet. I uh, don't. Uh, I don't have um, any slime balls just yet so I can't make a lead so I'll probably just put up a little fenced area oh I gotta do this in in the forge first I forgot about that in the anvil I mean and I do have I do have a whole stack of baked potatoes here I just was trying to use up those cooked pork chops uh, 
Because that chest was so full. Um, I think I'm just going to take this out right there. Just to make it to where I don't have to jump up over that all the time. Okay, we are going to name this name tag Brownie. Excellent. Sweet. I also need to I need to find a uh, pick out a spot where I'm gonna put this nether nether portal. Hey Brownie, come here. I got your name tag. It's ready. Boink. Oh yeah, look at that, Brownie. Yeah, he likes his name. You do, don't you? You're so cute. Ah, uh, uh, we're gonna get you armor. Oh, we got, we have some iron armor, iron horse armor in there. <laughs> Gotta eat a little, or I won't be able to run anymore. I think we got some iron. Yes, we got some iron horse armor. You're gonna look so snazzy, Brownie, in your nice new iron horse arm. Oh, look, he likes the tree. You like the tree, don't you? There you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. You're a war horse, Brownie. Yeah. Oh, that looks amazing. I love it. That is awesome. We're going to have to get a uh, a donkey so we can make uh, so we can breed mules to make pack mules and stuff. That makes it uh, a little bit easier when you're sprawling out and uh, to carry more more things around with you and you can like put stuff in it uh, that are just convenient so that they're not taking up room in your inventory like a bed and a water bucket <laughs> and some extra food um, so if you go somewhere, you could throw down a bed. Uh, that way, if you die, you're not um, 10 million miles from from your bed when you go back to your original area. So yeah, we got a horse, man. We got brownie. Uh, we got our our first pick enchanted. I think next episode, I'm probably gonna try to pick out an area for our nether portal and go ahead and maybe build it and decorate it get it ready maybe do some work on the village to try and make it safe for the villagers and set up a little way station and a breeding cell so we can get some villagers coming in to help us uh, build our empire <laughs> So yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and call the episode here and I'll get to work on some of this stuff. Uh, I might go ahead and now that we have a fast horse, I might do um, might do some exploration. I know I think it's in that way. We didn't ever really see anything to the east there. Um, there's eventually a taiga and a desert and a swamp. Uh, so I might just go uh, north. I think this is north, northeast, south, west. Yeah, the sun's setting over there. So I might go n head out north with the horse and see if I can find any new biomes. Maybe a jungle biome or a savanna. So uh, we can get some different wood types that would be nice um, yeah so uh, let me know what you think of, th of that idea I think it sounds pretty fun also um, putting in the little rain detector and having a little string come down here I think that would be something really cool to put into here <laughs> into this area maybe remove this uh, this tree and we could probably have it uh, do a little work and have it feed down into here as well because there's another little hidden pond in there. We could maybe open this up and make it a little cave area, 
What is over here? Uh, nothing. Nothing really. Okay. So yeah, I'll get to work on some of these things and hopefully we can start shaping this area. Maybe I'll add it, uh, make it cobble, make the little stream bed cobble like it's war. Uh, the the water running has worn down all of the dirt down to the rock and uh, make it, it it might make it look a little more interesting rather than just being all dirt over there anyway <laughs> I, I, I want to hear um, you know everybody's thoughts on that and stuff. you know you don't have to but if you have any thoughts don't be uh, don't be shy about letting me know because I want to hear it. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.